Like the pilgrims, this morning we are off to our next destination. We're going beachfront this time. We have arrived. This is our room at Cabana Lipe Beach Resort. Bathroom, bedroom. That's a lot of effort right there. That's a lot of effort. It's like put down pedal by pedal to make a perfect heart shape. Good morning, beautiful world. This is door to door service as we do the island tour today. We've taken package B. So it was like 650 baht per person, which is actually quite reasonable for a full day's trip. For them to literally show right out front of our door, pretty epic. We got our sunblock, we got some water. Ready to go? Take care of you. rush hour there's these little long tail boats going in all these different directions one thing I'm noticing today that I didn't see yesterday is the clarity of the water this is a really really beautiful aqua looking water and you can see right through it today could really be the reason we figure out why people come to Felipe so now that we've picked up all of our friends we are now heading on a one hour long tail boat ride all the way to our destination yeah it's one hour it's really long but I'm just excited to be here, like this water is, it, it's crazy. We're just like moving this blade over our heads, like seems a bit of a hazard, but... So this lens is way too wide angle to show you, but behind me is one of the most epic scenes I've ever seen. There's like 25 different long tail boats all coming in the same direction through the middle of the ocean. It looks like a scene out of Troy, like we're getting ready to storm. Epic. Lion. It's yours! So there's the rock. You can see it's right there. And that's that's all I got. Well, time to head home. I think we just drove an hour for that. Ah yes, the hidden lagoon that nobody knows of. So basically, there are so many long tail boats in the exact same spot, it's almost like you're going into like a cage match. Everyone just kind of like puts on their life jackets, jumps in the same part. So actually, a better example would be like bumper cars, because you're so close to everyone, you're probably going to bump into them in this little tiny squared off area. Now that one of the long tail boats backed off, we actually have room to insert ourselves into the cage match, and uh, let's, go, let's go swim with people. I'm sure all the fish left a while ago, so. I think this vlog will just be called Pessimism in Colipe. So this guy was charging all night, and yet it has 1% battery, and that was my only way to film here in the water. That is very clear water. Like, if the sun was out, it'd be even clearer. Pretty incredible stuff. If you're a snorkeler or a scuba diver, if you're coming here to do some scuba diving or even snorkeling, this would definitely be a really good place. Even with the sun missing, it was still very clear, still very beautiful. But when the sun is shining through the water, it's like unbelievably beautiful. So that's a really cool thing about Felipe. Just on the horizon here, we're about to enter the abyss. Uh, there's a massive thundercloud coming our way. We can hear all this noise in the distance. And uh, I think we actually have to go through the rainstorm. We're getting lost. Basil chicken? Basil chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So this here is Kodon, I believe it's called, or Dong. And uh, there's supposed to be monkeys on this beach. But I think because of the rain, they've all gone off into the jungle. But really cool island. It like reminds me a lot of like where Tarzan would be chilling. You see these really tall, viney looking trees. It's really awesome. Uh, I would love to see a monkey or two. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And uh, we just got lunch, and my lunch bag has a giant Thai person's hair in it. It's a big black hair. I may have seen it in Trade and <laughs> I'm not eating lunch. So right now we're on stop, probably like number five or six. We keep stopping at these places, and right now I'm just kind of ready to go back. Don't get me wrong, we've seen some beautiful things. The weather hasn't exactly cooperated until just about now, but there's nothing about this that's like that appealing. This is where they brought us. This massive slippery rock bank. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for rock and roll and rocking on and stuff, but 
No, I'm not gonna use that joke. Spirits are high. They've been doing a photo shoot for like the past 15 minutes. I just wish I knew their Instagram handles. Last night we had an incredible dinner. If you come to Kulipe, make sure you go to Hello India. Amazing Indian food made by some authentic dude. He even had like the pitas being done in like one of those fire pits. It was delish, mixed squish. So these are the taxis you use to get around. Kinda like it. All aboard your throne. We've actually tried really hard before to negotiate for these taxis. There's no budging, it's 50 baht per person. Watch out, Skip. <laughs> a lot of you guys come to the channel for different reasons. Some of you like to see the views, the drones, the blue water. Some of you like to see the chicks. So I'm gonna let you have it. Let's see the chicks. Yeah. Some people struggle to stay relevant. Lost LeBlanc jokes are ahead of their time. You know the front cover of Animorphs, that book where those like animals evolve into people? You get everything here on this channel. You get science, entertainment, laughter. So we are back at our little sanctuary here, Cabana Lipe Beach Resort. This has been my favorite part of all of Colipe, right here. Just having the view right out front of my door and like, this is the best side of the beach. We've seen Pattaya, we've seen Sunrise Beach, which is that one there. And then we've seen the Sunset Beach, which in my opinion was kind of cool, but you literally had to deal with mosquitoes infesting your arm and leg. So, I don't know. This is my favorite spot. So I actually just stopped a local lady who was walking her dogs and uh, she's been here for several years now. She said in the past two years, Colipe has become a lot busier, which is what we're seeing right now. We're actually shocked as to how busy it is. But she also said that next week, it's gonna be like a lot more dead than it is now. Right now, we're just leading off of Songkran, which is a big holiday here. Definitely, been <laughs> hello. There are so many dogs on this island. Look how excited he is. Attention, 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 attention. I'm getting attention, I'm getting it. Paw, give me your paw. No, don't touch give me your paw. paw. Okay, don't, t never mind. Okay. You're so friendly looking. This is the walking street, and this is like the main street that runs all throughout Kulipe, and they have shops and restaurants, so we're gonna get signed to eat. I really want to get deep fried ice cream that I spotted yesterday. Guys, check these out. These are elephant print swim shorts. Life goals. Play a little game of guess the price. What, did you get $6 US? You, you got it. So right there is the end of walking street, and right behind me is the beautiful beach. The beach is nice, but it's not like anything crazy compared to like the other beaches we've seen, but yeah. It's hard white sand, it's covered in sticks and rocks, which you know, is to be expected, it's a natural beach. But there's so many boats in a dense little area. Maybe it's just because the weather's not panned out entirely well today that I'm not feeling the vibes of Colipe. No matter where I go, I try to be as objective as possible. I want to give people the best recommendations. We've traveled to a lot of Thailand's beaches and we've seen a lot of great things. We've seen some beaches we didn't care for and this is kind of falling right now in the category of I don't really care for it. As far as I'm concerned, the best part of all of Colipe is right here in front of Cabana. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful night. Just 10 steps away from our front porch, you get this incredible view. You can't watch the sunset here, but I would actually rather spend sunset here over Sunset Beach. How are you? Hi. That's great. Hi. You wanna say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some visitors in the vlog here today. Welcome to the vlog. So. Do you, you have a YouTube channel? Yes. You have a YouTube channel? Yes. Oh my gosh, everyone's got a YouTube channel. Competition is getting fiercer by the day.
If I could conclude on our time here in Kolipe, it would be this. I don't think this is an island that's worth the money or the time to get to if you're coming from somewhere really distant. So for us to have gone from Kotao to check out Kolipe, I wouldn't do it again. Now, if you're somewhere like Kolanta, which is the next island up, and Kolanta is a popular island as well, if you're somewhere close already and you really want to see more islands, you've got the time, then yeah, sure, you can make this a worthwhile trip to come here, see some of the most clear water I've ever seen. Admittedly, we didn't see it in its best condition, but still, we saw incredible marine life here. So I have to say, if you're a scuba diver, if you're a snorkeler, then this might be your place. If you're just a typical backpacker, and you're on a budget, this is not your place. If you're someone who's mid-tier budget, who has a bit of money to spend, and wants to see a lot of Thailand, and has the time, then this could also be your place. My reviews are not the end-all answer to everything. Uh, I have had so many people say, oh my gosh, you're going to Kolipe, that's my favorite, or that's the most beautiful. And so for them, I'm glad they enjoyed themselves. I wish I found that thing that they were all in love with because uh, I found that this was just simply too busy. The beach itself is very, very crowded too, which I expected this to be like Komak, a bit of a sleeper island. It doesn't have the best of anything unless maybe you're going scuba diving. I'm very excited that we are going up north to Phuket tomorrow. We've got a like five hour speedboat and the cost to get to Phuket, another expense of being here in Kolipe, it's gonna cost us about 200 US dollars for the two of us, so not cheap. At least we'll get there by around 2 p.m. tomorrow, so it's quite a distance. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Let's get lost again tomorrow.